Hey, many fish. Uh, 25th of November. And uh, this image was sent to me by Todd at uh, It Is Finished channel. And he can't edit stuff and do this type of thing on his computer right now, which is a total drag. But, um, yeah, he sent it over to me and, and just to have a look at it. And, you know, right off, of course. I mean, this is becoming just steeped in our society, the symbolism. Whether it's U2 or, by the way, that's what this is. This is, uh, I don't know if this is a band member or not. I do not have any idea when this image was posted. I see 5.05 a.m., but I don't know who originally posted the image, and I don't know anything about Instagram. I don't Insta anything, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's all here. The black sun, the pyramid shape, it's all there. In front of the open doors, you know, notice they have to be split French doors with the iron gate in the background. All of it, it's all there. You know, but what does it mean? I mean, I went and looked at the lyrics. Where is that? Right here. And sure, I mean, they are, you know, what you would typically think are doomsday, really. I mean, meteor promises, wonder why they still walk the earth. Earthquakes always happen when you're in bed. Uh, we could go into many, many roads on this. But just based on the lyrics themselves, you know, I was interested. The image kind of speaks for itself. So um, I got the lyrics, I read the lyrics, and then I went and I watched the video that they released on it. And it's a live scene video, but of course it's all choreographed. The, all of this stuff, every second of it is choreographed. And there are some interesting points at... At like timestamps, say, you know, just for an example, at 3.33, there is a strange uh, event, <laughs> big flash, and then he is suddenly surfing on the crowd. And I've never seen him do that before. See how it's, it's just very strange. It flashes in and out of a whole bunch of things at once. And you can match up some of the, the vocals with some of the timestamps. But as far as imagery, other than a lot of people with the devil signs up in the, up in the air. Like, for instance, at, uh, I believe it was right around 33, shot of the crowd with the devil horns up in the air. You know, there's several of those scenes, but, you know, that one kind of caught my eye. Has to be right at 33. You know, things like that. But what does it mean, like, for the world for us in this particular case i can't really tell i mean i found an article where they interviewed bono and he's pretty much just saying the elections were a shock and a personal shock and a political shock and so he's just the lyrics are a response to both these shocks political and songs to give the context of time and there's a full article that i'll link so, you know, where do I stand on this whole image? Well, you know, just based on the image, like I said, it's this imagery, this symbolism is is obviously in child uh, content in particular. The cartoons, it is everywhere. We are steeped in this symbolism, and it's real. It's absolutely real, and it shows itself as a harmless little fun, trendy thing. But the overall message is do what thou wilt. You know, there is no judgment. There is no price to pay for your promiscuity and your lascivious lifestyle. When in fact there is. And that's what this spirit will convince you that no, no, you can do what you want, you know. And they'll tell you, but just be nice to people and so on and so forth. But that's not how it works, folks. This stuff is coming into a reality near you that you will see things manifest around you that, you know, at some point in time, they are going to blow your mind and you're not going to know what to do if you're not rooted in Christ on the rock. So that would be my overall suggestion based on what I see here is 
get right with God because we are in the times of the end. I just don't know how long that's going to last. And we'll, so while I'm here, I do the best I can to produce some fruit. Good fruit, that is. And, uh, you know, and uh, so peace and grace to y'all. If I find any more on this, I will definitely do another vid. Shabbat Shalom, any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 